Good morning guys or good afternoon and this is yeah, V2PF. Uh, I've just done a little uh, experimentation on doing uh, on building an, a router with OpenWRT on a computer PC. I have a small uh, farm, uh, small farm factor 2 NIC uh, computer here with a uh, 32 gig uh, SSD, 1 gig of RAM, it's uh, at home, it's a uh, low power computer. Uh, maximum 140 watt and I wanted to have this thing as a router there's not much information on the web on how to do that with OpenWRT because I really don't know you know the aura uh, I have the luck to find them so I wanted to uh, to to show you how I did it there's many stuff I won't pass over because uh, this uh, it's not in the, in the scope of uh, what I want to show you like how to do USB stick with the information on it and stuff like that you should have that information ready uh, you should be able to do that before starting this type of project so I'm starting with two things have a USB stick with a sys rescue CD on it it's to it's a live system to start my little box my little uh, Linux machine my little computer and have the image file of image files of uh, open the for PC in there uh, you'll see the name of it uh, while I'll be doing it on the screen so uh, let's hop on and try to do something good with that video okay here's the screen I'll be showing you if stuff is moving don't worry it's uh, my camera which is on top of my little computer and uh, I'll be uh, operating stuff so uh, it could move around and uh, hopefully you can see everything from that angle of you okay that thing I see everything there so okay first thing uh, this thing is working right now so uh, it's a uh, so it's, it's 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 a proof of concept well I'll do everything back to show you uh, what I did and uh, hopefully it will be enough for uh, most of, the, of you to uh, understand how to do it. First thing is to boot with System Rescue CD uh, on my stick. I'll put it in the front here. Okay. Oh, it's detected. Perfect. Let's reboot the machine. Let's close this thing. Okay. Okay. Computer is closed. Let's boot. With this, uh, uh, with, with this BIOS, I have to check myself to boot into the good, uh, into the good thing. So okay, here it is. Uh, system rescue CD. I'm starting with default boot option. Starting the. Oh, I'll close the okay so system rescue CD is uh, running the first thing you have to do after booting is to load up um, a software to remove every uh, every partition on the uh, disk you want to work with it's a uh, G parted it's already on the disk it's quite easy to access very simple program. It's, uh, it's real look. Uh, it's a you can run it many ways, but I always run it in uh, into graphical mode. It's the uh, the best way. So start hex to go into uh, Windows mode. I hate that this thing is pumping like that, trying to refocus all the time. So okay, hex window is started. As you can see, uh, where's my damn? Okay, it's there. As you can see here, G part it is already on the, the taskbar. I'll just have to start it like once. It's there. So here I have my uh, SDA drive, which is my 32 gig um, SSD drive inside the machine. I have two partitions, I'm on allocated space because I already 
played with the size of the parts and by resizing the parts and to, to have more space for software in, on the machine. So the first thing I'll do is to remove this thing, remove, apply, yes, apply. I won't show you how to use G part and it's not part of copy it's part of the uh, what I want to show you I want to show you how to install it how to install uh, open the bar UT so okay close done just to be sure I'm gonna refresh the device yes nothing allocated on the 32 which well 29.82 gig uh, SSD drive that I have in there so now uh, I have a system which I would, if I would try to boot, would say I no, yes, no, do something uh, about it. Uh, one thing about uh, OpenWRU2 is that you don't have an ISO image to load up, start at with like a live CD, like uh, we used to do, we were used to do with computer right now. It, it won't boot. Uh, uh, it, there's no way to, to do that. So you really need to have a, an operating system running to load the firmware or the, the, the image to your new, uh, to, to the C, to the, um, to the computer drive that will run it. So I'm putting inside another USB slot my image file. I selected one that, I, that is working perfectly well with my computer but now it's inside the the thing but it's not detected but it is detected but it's not mounted automatically because system rescue cd doesn't mount automatically uh any uh thumb drive like that so let's go and first uh, mount your drive. There's already some mounting point into the uh, the computer and into this uh, into the, uh, the this this uh, running thing. But uh, you there are some is for Windows, some for NTFS drive and stuff like so. Let's make a new mounting point. So you're will gonna go to make their MKDR in the command line there, and we're gonna make their into MNT and we're gonna create a, a thumb a usb one I'm, I'm calling it usb one because it's my uh, usb one drive so mount usb one right there okay we've done it without anything there so let's mount this machine there's one thing we want to know uh, we want to know which drive it is so uh you do f disk space dash oh, <laughs> f disk space dash hell and showing you um, all the disk uh, inside uh, that you have so right now uh, I have the last device which is slash dev sd uh, sdc1 which is in fat 16 which is my uh, physical drive where uh, I have my uh, my thumb drive. So uh, SDC1, SDC is what uh, the device I need to uh, to load, uh, to, 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 to mount. So I'm gonna mount it. Mount um, slash dev slash SDC1 space slash mnt for mount slash usb1 enter so right now if i go and 